Are you a designer wondering how to create editable social media templates for your clients? Or are you a business owner wondering how the hell to even use social media templates? Keep watching this video for some good content all about this. So my name's Abby and I am a brand designer from the UK and I have worked with many a clients using many social media templates. Therefore, I thought I would show the whole process of creating social media templates and making them editable. Okay, so what are social media templates and why do businesses need them? So they are there to keep your brand recognizable to your audience. They're also there to keep everything consistent across all social media platforms. It's also such a time saver to have templates there ready to go for when you need to create content. So in today's video, I'm gonna be creating my very own social media templates for a brand that I actually created on this YouTube channel. So who remembers me going into my house, grabbing a random object and rebranding it. So I'm going back to that product which was the sunscreen and suntan lotion called Soleil, I think it's called that, and I'm going to be creating these social media templates for them and making them editable as if it was a client. So I'm firstly going to be designing them in Adobe Illustrator and then I'm going to head over to Canva, yes Canva, to make them into edible templates for the client. So I actually love using Canva with clients because it's such a super simple and easy way for my client to be able to edit text, edit images whilst keeping on brand. So there is actually a link in my description for a 30 day free trial for Canva Pro. This is the premium version and gives you lots more benefits than the free version. So if you are a designer kind of wanting to play around with creating templates for clients or a business owner just wanting to get the hang of it, then make sure you check that out. Another good software to use if you don't like Canva is Adobe XD. This is such a good platform for creating social media templates. So if your clients are a little bit more tech savvy, then this might be a better option for you. So before you design absolutely anything for your client, it's really good to get to know exactly what type of content they're gonna be putting out so you can start designing in mind for that type of content. It's also good to know that not every business will need social media templates. So for example, if a business was more photography based and product based, they might just wanna use products and photos. So for this brand, I'm gonna be designing social media posts and Instagram story templates for this type of content, which is text heavy and educational posts product features, and then we're gonna do some behind the scenes and sort of video based content. Okay, so we are in Adobe Illustrator right now and I have set up my artboards and everything that I would need within this document ready for me to start on the template. So before I actually get started, I like to have the color palette at the top, the logos that are gonna be used, and then the fonts. So then I've got everything I need to get me started. So the artboard size that I use for the Instagram stories are 1080 by 1920 pixels and then the social media posts are 1080 by 1080 pixels. So when creating templates for my clients I like to create around three to six different options for each category. This just gives them the variety and the ability to switch up their content and their template so the audience doesn't get bored. So for this one, I'm going to be showing you how I create the social media stories and the posts for a text heavy story. So with the text heavy stories, I am constantly thinking about the space where the text is going to go. So because I know that my client is going to write a lot of stuff, a lot of educational stuff about their products, they will need the space to be able to do this. So having the stories and the social posts with a lot of space and not that much going on around so that the text is the main focus is the key here. So the next template I'm gonna be creating is for video. So for example, if they had a team member doing a behind the scenes, we want them to be able to sort of use kind of like a filter, but just a template that they can add on top of their videos so it keeps the brand consistent. So that is the design for the story templates and they are basically there to sit on top of the video. So as an example, I've actually filmed myself on an Instagram story and I've exported these as a PNG and and popped it on top of the story. So as you can see, it looks so pretty. It looks so branded and it just stands out. If you were tapping on the stories, it grabs your eyes instantly because it's something different. 
So the last thing that I have designed now are the product features. So the product and the photography are gonna be the main focus for the stories and the Instagram posts. So therefore I've left a lot of room for my clients to add in whatever photography or whatever they need, plus a little bit of text if they wanna explain the product. So you'll probably notice that within all of these designs, I've actually used a lot of textures and a lot of shadows. So I wanted to create that effect to remind you of when you're in the sun with the shade and just some really nice texture to sort of represent the sand element. And it works really nicely because it is something a little different. It grabs your attention and it still keeps that focus on the product, which is the suntan lotion and the sunscreen. So I actually got the elements of the shadow kit and the texture from Envato Elements. I will leave a link in my description if you wanna check those out. But adding just subtle things like that can really, really up your game when creating social media templates. So that is all the templates designed now and I'm gonna get them ready to export. So to export, I use the Asset Export, which is an incredible tool if you don't know about it. It basically allows you to save each element individually. So I'll show you exactly what it does. So when using this, you have to make sure that everything is ungrouped and on their own. And then you can simply just drag over your artwork to the asset export panel, and it will literally just make everything individual. Then you can head over to the format, change it to PNG, which then allows you to upload each element to Canva. So the templates have been exported and we are now ready to go over to Canva. I do have the pro version so we'll be able to upload my own fonts and do some other fun things on there. So when I actually design them in Canva I like to add in the color block on Canva instead of just copying an image from Illustrator and adding it in. This just means that my client will be able to then go in and change the color to their other brand colors if they want to switch up the templates. So we are heading over to Canva and I'm going to create exactly the same size artboard so 1080 by 1080 and 90 to 20 by 1080 as well and I can start creating the templates and making them editable. Okay, excuse the outfit change, but it was getting so hot in here. I think we're having a heat wave in the UK and it makes it good whilst I'm doing these templates because this is towards more of a summer brand. So I'm getting in the feels of this. But the templates have now been done on Canva so I can go into them and basically just go in and type exactly what text I need, all the colors I can change. And it's just such an easy way for my clients to be able to edit their templates. So all I have to do now is go up to the top right corner Corner, press the three dots and you can share the link. So you can either do it as a view link to just show your clients um, what it would be or once you're ready to send them off to your client, you can actually send a template link where they have to sign in and then they'll be able to copy the templates and edit them themselves. So the last thing that I do when working with clients is I actually send over how they would look in the real world. So I wouldn't just send them over with text goes here, I would actually just send them a document that shows all of their social media templates in action and exactly how they would be able to use them differently. Hopefully this video has given you an insight into how I create editable social media templates by using Adobe Illustrator and editing them on Canva so clients can edit them too. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see some more content just like this.